Hey guys, so this is basically just like a little bit of a compilation that I've done along the way of my prep work because I know a few of you have been asking so it's pretty boring for some but if it helps you, it helps you so I hope it does for the people that wanted it so here I'm just pushing back the cuticles and then a little bit controversial because I know some people agree with this and some people don't but for me, I don't do it on everyone, only if there is visible dead skin there and it's easy to get off without damaging my client, then I shall do so. So it's up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want. I'm just showing you exactly what I do. So, filing over the natural nail with my 180 grit file. So it's quite nice and soft. Not too coarse on the natural nail. Get rid of that little bit there, They're really irritating, and dusting off. So here I've applied my tip and I'm just showing you now how I shape it, so into my side walls first. As you can see these tips are already, I suppose stiletto, but they're a little bit round for my liking so I do like to point them a little bit more. I will be bringing out my own brand of tips to my Glitter Bell brand soon, so keep on the lookout for them guys. So into the side walls and the free edge first, just pointing it slightly more. Keep checking as you go along, so you're not over filing too much and taking away too much at the sides. Again, I'm just blending that in now with my 180 grit file. Just to get rid of that line there. Because this nail was going to be a glass nail, so. I didn't want to see that join there. I am actually touching the nail really softly even though it looks quite vigorous on here. I look a little bit like I'm attacking her but trust me I'm not. So dusting off and then I'm gonna get my bonder. I am bringing out my own bonder, FYI. And going in now with Glitter Bell's glass slippers clear. This is to show you my clear base. This is how much I apply. This is the consistency, so it's not too wet, but obviously, as you can tell, it's definitely not dry. So, um, kind of medium to wet. Just a little bit. Just checking I haven't got it in my sides and been a bit clumsy. I'll show you that now, a little bit side on. You see there? It's nice and thin, not too thick. This is another video I made a different time. As you can see, my nails have magically changed. No, it was obviously filmed at the time. <laughs> but um, this is me just e-filing away a previous design. Because, um, sorry, I'm sniffling, I've got a bit of a cold. Some people have asked me about if I could show how I remove a previous design. So this is how, so obviously they've already got a clear base on, which is kind of like created a bit of a barrier between the natural nail and the e-file because you should not really e-file on the natural nail. I suppose, I don't know, maybe some people do if they get really, really, really soft e-file bits, but I, I just don't, this is, this is as far as I go. So, after that, pushing back the cuticles, really pushing them back, like really a lot. <laughs> um, Yep, cuticle nippers. I actually find this really satisfying. I don't know about you. You'll have to comment if you do too. But I really enjoy it. Next one. Pushing them right back. My thumb is completely in the way. I'm so sorry. And again. Cuticle nippers. If you see, I position the nippers where I want them first before I close them. So that way you're not actually going to catch your client. And just really take your time until you get used to them, if you do have a go. Just be careful. Now I'm filing over to get rid of that line with my 180 grit file again. Just smoothing out the whole nail again before I'm going to reapply my clear base. Even though there's still a bit of clear on there, there's just not really enough now, so I do always like to reapply it. Plus I find that the e-file can create like a few lines, like look at the end of that nail there, you can see where there's like a bit of a dip in it now. If I go on that and apply my acrylic, 
it'll just irritate me it'll work fine but it will irritate me so I like to make sure it's just a lot more level with the clear first so filing away that line there this will prevent us getting any lifting too again with my 180 grit file it's a double sided file this is I am bringing out files soon too there we go all nice and smooth so let's put the bonder on and then apply our clear base again I'm sorry if you find this video boring guys it's quite a short one really it's just literally all on prep work and removing previous designs and things but I just hope it helps but if you don't want to watch it just um, get off this one and you can go watch a more interesting one so again my glitter bowels glass slippers I haven't said but um, obviously I will leave all these details in the description box for you so going in there nice and thin I didn't quite put on enough for the end so I am gonna get a second teeny tiny little bead for the end as you can see look at that it's tiny but trust me it makes a difference that little bit next one hopefully this just shows you that the thinness slash kind of thickness of what I do here And then obviously typically I'd go in with my acrylic colours after this, which is what you see on all of the other full set videos that I've uploaded. This is just the step that you miss beforehand. Hope you enjoyed guys, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching guys, bye!